Hello everyone and uh, thanks for watching this video I made on how to board an airplane. First of all, I just want to kind of go over and show you that it's really important that you're assertive in what you need because the people boarding you aren't necessarily very trained very well and they can make some pretty bad mistakes. I've been dropped a couple of times and had some other problems. So it's important that you tell them what you need and how it needs to be done. So in the beginning here you'll see that uh, I'm strapped in with two chest straps, a leg strap, and a foot strap. That's uh, onto an aisle chair, and this is how they will put you onto the plane because you're a wheelchair, it won't fit down the aisle of the plane. Here we go, backwards onto the plane. You should always be going uh, backwards when you get on the plane. If they try to go forwards, it could be a problem when they have to make the turn up in the front galley to make you go backwards down the aisle. Here I am getting unstrapped uh, to get into the uh, airplane's seat that I was assigned. Later on you're going to see how this portion of the video was wrong, I'm gonna lift you up how he transferred me. Hold on to my shoulder. I'm going to sit you over there. Okay? Do your legs hurt or anything? I can grab your legs. It's important to, to remember I sit on my actual wheelchair seat uh, cushion. <laughs> oh, we made it on the plane. That was kind of rough. Here, this gentleman lists me up correctly. And also remember to take your wheelchair cushion, okay. seat cushion right. with you. No problem. Because if you get off the plane, they won't let you get back on to get it. It's FAA regulations, apparently. So here's a correct lift from behind. You hold your wrists and grab you from behind. You can transfer yourself as well. Uh, this happened about seven months post injury and still kind of fearful of a lot of things. So. Wasn't sure what to do. I am a C5 incomplete and T7. These days I transfer myself. Here we are coming off the plane again. It's better when you come off the plane to go backwards, unlike what they did here. Because of the way the threshold of the plane is and the jet bridge, Things can get squirrely going forwards. There's not as much stability of the aisle chairs. Here I'm putting my seat cushion on my wheelchair. I'm pretty particular about it. I've learned that if I don't get it exactly right, I tend to have problems. Another correct lift. Coming up next at the end of this uh, video, I'm going to show you some ways two examples of how not to transfer on the plane, or how not to let them transfer you on the plane, and the mistakes that can happen. I hope you watched uh, all of this. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you subscribe, and here you go. Thanks, Abbott. So in this example, the gentleman asked me to put my arm around his neck. And that's how he was going to transfer me. I'm going to lift you up. I want you to hold on to my shoulder. I'm going to sit you over there. But if my arm wasn't strong enough where it slips, or if the lady behind me, going underneath my armpits, uh, there drops me, you can see how right here, if she had lost grip, I would fall down. And probably not into the seat, but onto the floor and maybe get hurt. So this is not a good way to transfer. And then it was kind of awkward getting me in the seat. See how the aisle chair was backed up? I should have been back there when they transferred me. It would have been safer. Now here, grabbing me the correct way, but the aisle chair's arm got in the way here. So it's important to make sure that that's out of the way because for people who are transferred who maybe aren't as strong or not as experienced, that armrest can get in the way and cause them to possibly drop you. I have been dropped a couple of times now.